Yeah. And so yeah, the best thing ever. The girls were like, Rachel and Heather. We want little jumps. I was like, sure, I'll build you little jumps. It was like beginning of summer. I basically piled a bunch of sand. I shaped everything. I said, okay, I'll build the lips. You guys shape the landing. The dirt was already there. After all day, they broke a hose. And they, yeah, they put a hole in my brand new hose. Uh, after all day, they're like, oh. Are you proud of us? I was like, you guys didn't do any of the work I did. They're like, we work so hard. I was like, if you're doing like a powder coat, and look at the jumps. They're huge. I think massive. I see them. Kyle, my jumps are not massive. Okay, so the progression of straight acres, it went this long track behind us here. Uh -huh. Kyle was out here filming for Kenda. Mm -hmm. and it had been raining really hard and Carson was down and Sage was here and they were filming and the boys were just like making like a little rut track for fun and then it kind of dried and they're like oh sweet a slalom track and then they built on that and developed it a lot so it's come a long way and then Kyle was like well I need to practice speed and style so I'm going to build myself a speed and style track well of course before that I got way too excited and I had just mowed the whole oh, yard yeah there, I was, about there was so much overgrown brush since like 2003 when the fires were here so nobody touched any of the, like a lot of the where the tracks are at nobody touched any of that land so it was really overgrown yeah mowed all that down um and then i got really excited and i was like let's get a dozer in here <laughs> so i got a dozer in here and i started building big bike jumps and i was all excited because it was like just after rampage i was like yeah, yeah let's do it you had devin come out uh, yeah devin come out in a d5 and we just built some of the sickest stuff and i built the first jump way too big and i was like Ugh. <laughs> i jumped one of the jumps um on the on a different line and then it's been sitting since yeah um because i immediately right after that then it was kind of february time and i was like Rachel's like, well, don't, shouldn't you be riding like slope bikes and stuff like that, getting ready for crankworks? And I was like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> so then I started building, then I started building the other line, the Speed Lyle uh, line, and that became what it is you guys have seen today. This winter we haven't had as much rain, um, so I've been working on the other side of the yard, which is what it was kind of, I like, called our technical solemn line. Um, that was a single lane, now it's now officially a double lane it's got two lanes and it's mm -hmm. even further down the hill than it was and uh i don't know by the end it'll probably end up being maybe a minute long or something like that I yeah because what is it right now 20 every uh, time uh, jill comes extra. out and rides she loves the little free laps you oh, know yeah. like where you could time yourself <laughs> she's so the only cute. time i know how long my tracks are is when jill, jill comes <laughs> So it's a, it's a good location. We got no cell service, but close <laughs> enough, 30 minutes to the airport. Yeah. That's like a, no it's a, good, it's a good medium, you know? Yeah. yeah. It's just also so cool because since, so we had the property since August 2015. And uh, I had just broken my leg, so it's kind of like unfortunate timing for renovations, but I got to like sit in my little chair and tell people what to do. So that was kind of fun. Yeah. But, um, so that last winter was the first full winter we had. And then this winter, and just to see how many people come over and ride in the winter it's really cool it's it's like such a fun environment to be in and you know obviously summertimes everybody's traveling and we're traveling and it's too hot it's too dry and you don't really want to ride anyway here so it just it's just such a nice place yeah we're winter. so pretty good it's nice to see all the people that come over they're able to progress themselves as well i mean we got a lot of local friends that yeah yeah like that's the fun through, through this <laughs> through fun. the winter time yeah. last year and they got further and further down yeah. the speed and low and yeah. then eventually you know they, they started hitting the big double and stuff like that and it was like everybody cheers and it's it's a you know it's a good atmosphere it's so, like because on that speed and lyle course <laughs> there's a the long jump the long jump before the, just works. the main jump is what 29 feet 29 and a half it's like a really long and low jump so it's super intimidating because most people are like oh that big jump looks the hardest but really it's the long and low that's the hardest and so it, it was cool. We had two friends, Doyle and Scott, and they were like in a battle all winter. Who was going to do it first? Who got it? Was it Doyle? Doyle got it Doyle first. Doyle got yeah. it first, and then Scott got it. There was just so much banter back and forth. It was yeah. funny. But. So in line with like having all your friends and, and local guys over to progress themselves, I, I noticed you guys have been selling your Straight Acres shirts and promoting you know, the, the property here. What um, is your goal just to get more people out like those guys to to evolve their riding and develop skills eventually like 
initially with the t-shirt sales we were thinking like oh so many people seem interested in the property and as much as we would love to have everybody come here all the time and ride it's just hard this is our home and like you just you don't want a lot of strangers coming to your home and we also worry about the insurance aspect of it like if somebody crashes then what's going to happen nowadays so in the long term we would love to be able to have a property where Kyle and everyone could dig on and practice on and we could coach skills on. We launched a company this year, I haven't really said much about it yet, but Straight Skills. Kyle and I have started coaching more clinics and, and it's something he's really passionate about and he's really, really, really good at coaching, huh? like really good at it. So I don't tell him that enough. <laughs> And so it's cool that that it's something that like can kind of snowball into itself, you know, eventually like by the end of this year we'd hope to have a couple people come out and we'll coach them clinics here and then hopefully down the line we could buy property and, and have it evolve into something more than just our little 12 acres of land here at home, you know? Obviously too, it helps out a lot too, I mean, we were even sure if anybody was going to like <laughs> you know, I mean, we just yeah. kind of wanted to like throw it out there, and, and a lot of people are actually really stoked on them. But one of our ideas as well, besides that, for currently, is that we want to be able to have like a little cash to, uh, you know, do edits and you know get tractor time and stuff like that. Currently, I don't own a tractor, which sucks. But so I mean, you know, building new stuff and and creating more content for people to check out, which is really cool. I mean, you're going to ride the same line a few times, right, before people get tired of it or, or like, ah, I've seen that. Right. Yeah. So it's it's uh and I mean I, I love digging and I love coaching and so uh, for the digging aspect I like you know creating new things and new things to ride and then for the long term stuff is is being able to coach people and, and uh, hopefully one day have a, a place to coach everybody. I mean if everybody can't come ride here at least we can make something cool where people can watch it. Yeah. You know we were also thinking like. It would be kind of fun to do little straight skills edits where Kyle could do it, like something and he's teaching you something, you know, on the property or... I don't know, would there's so many it? possibilities. Oh yeah, I'd watch anything with you. Would that? you guys watch it? <laughs> I'd watch it. Okay. There, there you go. I might watch it. Yeah? I have to you watch probably it probably see enough day. of them, yeah. right? I've seen enough of them. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is how I listen. Let me explain this, how I listen with Kyle. Kyle, this is so easy, Rachel. I could do this with my eyes closed. This is the easiest drop I've ever seen in my life. This is impossible, Kyle. I cannot do this drop. I am never hitting this. Rachel, watch. Arms backwards, feet off the bike, hits the drop, sitting down. Okay. I'm gonna hurt, one day I'm gonna hurt myself trying to show her how easy it is. <laughs> because I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm really gonna do it without looking. And I'm gonna probably crash. And she's gonna be like, see, it's hard. I'm like, my eyes were because closed. <laughs> when I always say, like this is when in my head when he says it's easy, I'm like, dude, you just rode Rampage last week. Like anything would look easy to you compared to that, you know? I'm not, I'm not going to, I've never ever sent her into something that she, I know she can't do. Yeah, that's what I have to remember. But that's yeah, hard. She always forgets You know? You know. But. But that's why I say he's a really good coach. He's never sent me off of anything that I couldn't do. So, good job, babe. Yeah. Did you see her drop that she hasn't worked on? No. A drop over there? He pushes play and he immediately starts calling me out. <laughs> well, it, it rained Push on play, a drop. Call it rained on a drop. Mine is the inside. You come in and it's clean. It you come in the outside, this is Kyle's zone. That's what I say when we bought the place. I take care of the house, you take care of the land. I'll do the landscaping around the house. She's the type that doesn't build on trails and expects the trails to be good. But I make really good cookies. Do you clean the inside of the house? I do all the time. Yeah. But we did. Rachel, I'm looking at you for that. Okay, he does the floor, and it's a in the kitchen. Job. In the kitchen, that's not true. 